That's income transparency right That's it. there. If you guys don't take one, just take it with you. Just get out of here. <laughs> you guys ready to do this? Yeah. Yeah. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the Jameson on the Rocks podcast. Today I have with me the full band, I believe, right? Hotel mm. Fiction. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Give a little round of applause Let's or something. Give me some noise here. Give me some noise on the yeah. line. Yes. <laughs> it's been two years since we had two you you two in there. I did the math on actually a little gift for you guys. Just look, you can't have them. I want you to look at them now. Like, just just look as a gift. <laughs> Take oh. a look at those guys right there. Look at those young kids over there. Wow. March twenty first, twenty twenty. We're so babies. Look at the kids. Look at those kids. Someone sent me a picture of this picture of me the other day. A picture of the picture. <laughs> I think it was somebody Mitchell, you knew? Mitchell Davidson. Yeah, I know him. I know. What do you say? We talked today. He said, that's you. <laughs> that's, that's all. A keen observation. Love that. Oh. Love that. Well, how have you guys been? It's nice to have you all in here. I think five is the most we've ever done on the show. So appreciate no you way. all coming in. Let's yeah. go down the road just for the people listening that can't see us. And tell me your names, occupation in the band, and age, if you don't mind. We can start right here. Um, hello, I'm Jade. I'm yeah. 24 years old. Uh, and I sing and play piano. Love it. Yep. <laughs> you <laughs> i'm jessica i am 24 years old and wow. that's very recent newly <laughs> yeah. As of yesterday birthday, jessica Happy birthday. thanks <laughs> um i play electric guitar and sing some harmonies awesome right here just met this young man oh yeah what hey. what yeah we never met, met. Crazy, i think yeah. we never met well i'm I mean, mistaken I, I have we? I don't think we. I don't know if we've officially met. Probably seen but, each other. So yeah. Probably bumped, bumped into each other. You've been in the same room probably a thousand times. Yeah, for sure. Probably. Okay, continue on. But um, uh, my name is Lucas. I um, I'm 24 as well, and I play bass. Awesome. Oh yeah. My name is Aaron. I'm 23, <laughs> and I play guitar and oh, no. synthesizer sometimes. Oh, okay. Nice. Boy, More a recent. niche guy. Okay. Um, I am Gideon Johnston. <laughs> I am 19 years old. Okay. I play drums and then percussion on the records. Love it. And that's it. Love it. Well, that was a great breakdown oh, there, yeah. fellas. And you would be the newest <laughs> member of the band, right? Or... So one of you two? Uh, or is it me. kid? I think it's me. It no way. Good. Lucas was already guess, playing with yeah. them. Like, I played with Julian a few times, but Lucas was mm -hmm. there most of the time. That's true. Lucas is definitely like. the earliest... Because I feel like last time we did this, you guys didn't have an official band in place. Like I think it's true. I did the math on it, and the song that you guys had out at the time when you came on last time was Think Twice. I remember what? like Julian was playing, right? Like, uh, what's I forget his last name, but Everyday Dog's Julian. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't yeah. he playing in the band yeah. at some point? Yeah, he yeah, was. And he was like Tommy was like, somebody was taking turns on drums. Yep, and my brother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, your brother, Justin, right? Yeah. And now, has this been, how long has this been cemented right here is what I'm wondering. Probably like, we started moving in that direction the last six months. Yeah, I'd say six months. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Well, I was going to say like at every show probably for the yeah. last like mm -hmm. year and a half. I'd say Gid and that. Aaron. The first like, like flip turn fest is when we really all played together and it was like this is a thing. Like this is what yeah. we want to move And towards. that was, was we, like, we've all been playing together for like at least I a year and a half. Right. Yeah. I think it's but be we were it's become kind of serious a lot though. More. Like we're like, we're yeah. trying to like it's, intentionally yeah. be that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We've been consistently us five for more of the last six, six months. months. Yeah. And was there some sort of like, what was the reasoning on that? You were just tired of the rotating lineup, or you just found a group to play with that was obviously working? Like, was it anything in mind? You know, I feel like it was just like we all gelled really well together and like loved playing together and then we wanted them to be in our band and at the same time they were like showing that they wanted to be in the band with us yeah and so it all kind of worked out love that you guys agree so that's pretty much how it went yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty cool band to join right yeah yeah <laughs> i think the final piece was lucas quitting his day job yeah <laughs> yeah and we're all like oh shit <laughs> oh and, and then, yeah, we, all moved then we stopped needing other bassists after yeah. that yeah. interesting what do you mean you all moved to athens is this when you guys were in nashville or all separately or something <laughs> yeah there was a time where only gid was in athens what yeah <laughs> yeah that crazy we kid. were in nashville i guess you might have been in athens it was too. a very brief time lucas was in atlanta lucas yeah. was in atlanta yeah. Mm -hmm. Then Aaron went to Atlanta. We came back. Yeah. Oh, and now wow. we're all finally here. <laughs> I bet that makes time. practicing yeah, easier. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Everything well, is easier. Let's kind of back up when you guys start playing together. Um, at this point, how many songs have you guys recorded together? I'm just trying to get context on the group before we go into what you guys have done as the group, if that makes sense. 
I th- is the whole EP you guys together with mixed mixed parts, right, or something? Yeah, kind of, sort of. I feel like this EP, like the last album, was almost entirely other people. Yeah. Um, but that was pretty EP much was song by fun. song, right? Yes, mm-hmm. how you get to them, right? Yeah, definitely a put together over a long time. <laughs> Figure it out as you yeah. go. <laughs> well, I feel like on that record, though, and maybe this is just me, like in my head, kind of. I feel like soft focus. The the title track is like the first song that kind of glimpses into the most recent EP if that makes sense is that fair to say would you agree or no I feel like it's the closest like a lot of vocal things going on oh, like yeah, the, song. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like the yeah, song yeah. itself is like the first like that was the first mm-hmm. one that kind of is similar to these last five or six I see that too yeah. even in recording techniques and stuff yeah I feel huh. like that was kind of one of the last ones we recorded for okay. that album and so it makes sense that it yeah. would naturally be the closest Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, cool. So when you guys go in and you start playing, what's the first show you guys play together? Did you say it was Flip Turn Fest? Is that what I heard? I think it was Southern Brewing. Southern Brewing. Right. Dog Day? Not Dog Day. Uh, September the first Day. The first day. It was it was flip it, turn. It was, it, yeah. it was the show at Heartwood that first show I with flip turn. I think of Southern yeah. Brewing and Gideon lied to his dad. <laughs> well, was I didn't lie to him. The, the details got there was a street. yeah. There was <laughs> a misunderstanding. <laughs> I was talking about Gainesville, Georgia, uh, but I was talking about Gainesville, Florida. And when okay. he learned that, he was like, "Oh, cool! Like I'm going to take you to Florida, and we're gonna sleep in this like weird motel, <laughs> and like what? I'm gonna be there." To look, because like I've He's never like done this chaperone. before. Basically, he was like, "I don't know <laughs> these people. Like, yeah. I want to. I just want to be there." And I was, I Fair appreciated enough. that. I respect uh-huh. that. I'm glad he went because also he got to meet everybody, and it was like a cool moment. And now he's like the homie, our friend. Everybody, you know, yeah. Like yeah. my dad's sick. Yeah. Love that. Okay, <laughs> interesting. And was there any any kind of notable moments of that show where it was like, all right, this might be it right here? Or was it just a just it was a good one. A very cool raining. show. It yeah, it like pouring. it started pouring rain <laughs> in the middle of it, and everyone was like, "Are they gonna keep playing?" And we were like, "Are you guys ready to just like dance in the rain with us?" And everyone was like, "Yeah,", yeah. and it was awesome. It felt yeah. like cinematic. It was cool. Yeah, yeah. pedals that. broke in the rain. Yeah, it broke some shit. <laughs> My keyboard was like sopping wet. It's a bad. Yeah. You got casualties sometimes. You got to yeah. get it up sometimes. It's you know? Collateral. A lot of water coming through that tarp. S- yeah. Risk reward. Since yeah. then, though, and when was this again? This is a while ago. Something you said six months, right? Something. Like that. This, this was that over was, a year ago. Yeah. This is a year okay, and a half. okay. April. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. This was like. Yeah. So since you guys started touring together, how has the band grown in a certain direction? Has anything kind of changed? Anything notable that you guys wanted to note about, like the shows in that sort of way? Well, I feel mm-hmm. like maybe compared to our very first Florida show and our first tour, like the shows have gotten bigger and just better Love in general. That. Yeah, we Love definitely that. read each other a yeah. lot better. I We're feel homies like. now. Like, yeah. 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 So it was like weird, but now like we've played so many shows. It's like, <laughs> I I know you guys. It so was weird. Well. It was weird. Yeah. Did you not like it? It was weird. No, I mean, it was just new. Yeah, no, come, on, come on. New details. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, I remember our first show in Florida. We were playing at this bar, and my family was the only people that came. Yeah. <laughs> they were. <laughs> yeah, that was like we were just so excited to be touring yeah. in general. We were like, we can't believe we're in Florida right yeah, now yeah. playing music. But we played to ten people some nights or less. Oh yeah, that's a rite of passage. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. It's yeah. character building. Character building. You know what I mean? Yeah. But definitely. now the Florida shows are looking a wee bit bigger, aren't they? They're pretty yeah. fun. <laughs> There's a few yeah. tickets getting sold down that way. Just a little. <laughs> Yeah. Well, good. Okay. Well, when you guys are playing together, I'm still trying to figure out the whole like. I haven't seen you guys with a new lineup, by the way, which is unfortunate for me, but I hope to soon. Actually, I'll see you guys at Jordan Theater, whatever date that is. 24th, right? 24th. I think so. Subtle plug. You guys get your tickets for that. Um, What is the set list like these days? I mean, you can give me any details you want. Is it mostly the album, I assume, assume, plus the EP, or is it like more the EP and a few album tracks? Like, how are you guys arranging that sort of thing? I'd say we're leaning on the EP more. Nice. Um, but I mean, it's, it's six songs. That's a lot of songs, right? Yeah, it's yeah. true. We're mostly playing 40, 45-minute sets lately because mm-hmm. we're yeah. hopping on other bills. So. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. six plus really maybe three from the album. Consolidate. Gotcha. But it's cool because we used to play shows where there were like two songs out for us and then everything else was just new that no one had heard exactly. so these are like the first few months where people actually could know all of the words that yeah, they wanted to everything. and people like even people have gotten like not frustrated before but they're like oh i thought i would come and know all the words but you played all these new songs that weren't out yet and we're like sorry <laughs> sorry so, I have to it's cool to be touring on music though. what's been yeah. you guys favorite songs to play lately for everybody i'd love to know individually because mm-hmm. I, I have my favorites that i'd like to listen to i'd love to know what you guys like to play allure for me mm-hmm. for sure that's just like listen 
Yeah, it's a live. We do me and Lucas do like a thing yeah. that has like <laughs> developed funny. and it's been cool. Uh, what kind of thing? It's it's just like drum boop, and boop. bass, like kind of lining up boop, with like a boop. vamp at the beginning, like <laughs> playing on the quarter note. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. A boop boop. You gotta you gotta come see. Yeah, it's a boop yeah. boop. Yeah, okay. boop. I can't wait. Hard to explain. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah. boop. How about boop. you, right here, young man? Ooh, <laughs> <laughs> young man, Jameson. <laughs> um, I really like lately. We've been trying to do a lot of transitions in between songs and stuff, and we always do one in between "Out of My Head" and Athens. Um. And both of those songs are fun to play, but then we yeah. the transition that we sort of wrote for it is a lot of fun. Okay, there's some cool guitar like work on it. Instrumental and thing. Yeah, like yeah, huh. it's very instrumental. And Jess and I do some really cool guitar parts that we like sat down to write. And I don't know, there's just there's just cool stuff. Awesome, it's fun for me. Yeah. Before we go to you, I want to ask a question off that if that's okay. How do you like having another guitar player? Because it used to be just you all the time, right? It's true. You it's like that? So fun. Is it? And we played <laughs> I think one show oh, yeah. in Pennsylvania where he wasn't there, and I was like. Whoa, it feels so empty. <laughs> Does it? And like there were so many parts missing. Yeah, okay. But I feel like we're kind of both like lead guitar players, you know, so we get yeah. to like we sort of trade off different lead parts and okay. it's cool to like work on that together and yeah. there's a lot. It's a cool challenge on. to work that in. It's yeah. really Times. fun. I imagine yeah. so. It makes it makes overdub and everything easier. I imagine you don't have to worry about doing too much, right? <laughs> Love it. Love it. All right, you right here. You guys like the Eagles. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I I feel like uh, I feel like I would second that. Um, uh, yeah, the, the out of my head to Athens transition is okay. is really fun. Um, I think also like you know playing monster is is really mm. fun. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. it's it's hard to. Oh, that's a good one. It's hard to keep playing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. It sounds fun. I bet. I bet. Yeah. Awesome. All right here. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like Even all. top two? Even I have. Two? It used to be like Athens was my favorite for a really long time. I feel like Allure is my current favorite because we've added some new stuff recently to it in practice that okay. has made it really fun. Um, so, yeah, that's my answer. Love that. All right. Um, I like them all, I guess, but <laughs> I feel like uh, I like Think Twice because me and Aaron have a moment in oh, that, which is sweet. It's kind of moment. <laughs> uh, a moment. We do a little dance. A little thing. dancey dance? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah. You guys want to hit it right we now? We play it, yeah. <laughs> like, um, <laughs> a little swing. Like, uh, it's a little swing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> But the whole band like gets into it at the end, and it's it's really fun. Love it over mm-hmm. the awesome. jazz solo. The, yeah, at yeah. the very end. Yeah, yeah. and then also I like instead of us, I yeah. feel like the bridge to that is really cool. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Cool. Also that. has a similar energy. Mm-hmm. That's really fun live. How's honestly. it been for you guys? Like watching these songs kind of grow. I imagine on the road. Like I mean, obviously, when, like you said, when you start touring, and you only got two songs, and uh, they can only know those. Now, I mean, even your newest stuff is getting a lot of streams really fast. Have people been recognizing them out on the road and stuff and singing along, kind of? It's been yeah. nice to see people coming back around and that sort of stuff. I feel like our Atlanta show that we just played with Flip Turn at the I'll Bucket Theater, awesome. it was like the first show that we played since the songs were out, mm-hmm. maybe besides Nashville uh-huh. and the closest to home. And it was crazy. People were singing along to like Let's Athens go. and yeah. stuff we just released that we didn't. We had never experienced that before, like Jess was saying. It was so cool. Yeah, was, was it? We're used to people, Hell maybe yeah. they know Astronaut Kids. Yeah. That's really cool. But hearing <laughs> like hits. new songs, it yeah. mm-hmm. was crazy. Fresh out of the hatch and people know them. That's great. That's awesome. We're trying to egg on some of like the catchy like <laughs> phrases, like mm-hmm. trying to make like moments in the set now where it's like, all right, repeat after me. Like, oh, I don't know. yeah. Like, let's make it like memorable. Yes. Love that. With like one liners. I don't know. I think that just comes from the road, you know, sort of stuff, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's actually harder than you'd think to do those sorts of things. I did try to do one at Smith's Old Bar, and I was out of time when I did it, so they did it back out of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, was like, oh, I was like, oh, fuck, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, fellas. That's why I don't play drums. But anyways, fear. that's awesome. I feel like Athens is a great track. Let's see what I wrote about it. I wrote upbeat. Pretty upbeat for you guys, right? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Up-tempo, right? Yeah. 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 Carmen, Carmen uh, Smith wrote the drum part for really? it. Yeah, he, he tracked it, too, and like that was yeah. like, kind of the solidified thing love it so love he's it. he's like the extra output like like parentheses six member of the band mm-hmm. i feel like love that. and a nice Definitely. fella like yes that guy. Sure. i love him i don't, I don't yes. see him much my, but nice guy i actually book. wrote here you go for you guys good drum track <laughs> 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 yeah. thank you just Carmen. wanted to note that i to note that i feel like this one's really uh i don't know it's, it's catchy it feels like athens in a sort of way you know it's relatable you know what i mean mm-hmm. or at least someone who lives here you know um, good for you guys. That's awesome. Who wrote this one? You anybody in particular? 
Uh, did, it, did it hatch from the... This? Yeah, I feel like me and Jess kind of wrote it and then like for the stage production, like we kind of all wrote the like intro to it. Yeah, that one was yeah. cool because we actually did write parts for it. Like mm-hmm. as it was as it was growing, you guys brought it to us when it was very early. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In its conception and we got yeah. to add a lot to it. That was fun. It yeah. was really fun. Yeah. Right. And we like that was one of the ones where we like recorded live with the whole band and like everyone kind of included their like own parts on the track and stuff, which was That's really awesome. special. Mm-hmm. That's great. Yeah. I feel like I feel like it really came alive when we recorded it. At least yeah. for, for me mm-hmm. and, and um and then like that translated over to live performance as well. Love that. Um, certain energy kind of, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Like coming up with certain parts, like go, like going into recording that song, it was like, man, this is a cool song and we love it. And then yeah. like recording it, I was like, oh, now I really like this because it, <laughs> it, like, this it, it, feels, it feels like complete. And, um, you know, sometimes when you get to record it, you connect with it more. And, yeah. You know, so that's I think that's I pretty it. fair to say. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And how does a song like this start for you guys? I assume most of them start with one of you on the either piano or you playing guitar and writing some sort of words. Is that kind of how this one came about? Mm-hmm. Pretty simply. Yeah. yeah. Um, I started it on piano and okay. um, yeah, just it was kind of like I had started this song on piano and like had the melodies and stuff figured out. And I was kind of just had come up with the idea to write about being like paralyzed in yeah. your I don't know the state you're in and just like being overwhelmed by everything around you having too many options Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so like kind of combining those ideas and then like yeah it just kind of went from there and we like finished it I think together Mm -hmm. wrote like the bridge and stuff and yeah added all the parts together it's a good bridge bridge. (laughs) and i like how you guys kind of hang on paralyzed for a second you do the little run thing yeah Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. i'm like "Mm, nice it's a hard thing to sing like sounds like very good at singing that oh thank you (laughs) so are you (laughs) (laughs) good vibes (laughs) well that's awesome that's probably i wrote also wrote Favorite or second favorite from EP? Just want to note that. Mm-hmm. Great one. Love that. Let's keep it moving. Man on the Moon. How does this one come about? This one's really cool. That Love one, it. we also kind of recorded live in yeah. the studio. At Tommy's, I assume? Did we? Oh, yeah, yeah. we did. Because mm-hmm. we were, um, you were there. Yeah. And we were tracking with Tommy. Yeah, the four of us. You can tell by the way the snare drum sounds. Yeah, you guys all know what we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. We know. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. You know that snare. We know. <laughs> This is infamous. Yeah, it was kind of a bizarre song though, where it, it was just kind of like I like wrote it while sitting in class with like no music whatsoever and just what? like the melody and the lyrics. I just wrote down the words while I was like not paying attention <laughs> to what everyone was talking about. And Professor then I was like, poetry. Be unhappy about this I one. <laughs> and I was like, Jess, you have to hear this song I just wrote. She's like, How did you write this? And I was like, I don't know, but I think this was what the chords would sound like. That's crazy. And, um, you got that sense of melody, man. And then yeah, we like we made that cool um like do 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 part. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. That's where we true. kind of add in a lot of I don't know, cool instrumentation and stuff. And before it was kind of slow before we brought it to mm-hmm. Tommy, I think. And yeah, it was really slow. Yeah, it was more like maybe instead of us paced. Yeah. And it kind of formed into an upbeat song. She <laughs> was really like, cool. what if we like double the speed of this <laughs> song? <laughs> We're like, that works really huh. well, actually. <laughs> when, when it seems like it's got a lot of out. vocals going on, right? There's like a lot of doubles, right? Am I yeah. mistaken on that? There's a lot going on. We did some oohs and ahs, and then there's yeah. main harmonies. And then are you? Is your main vocal double too? I can't. Remember. I think so. At least for the chorus, I think that was like oh, one wow. of the most fun in production. Probably, yeah. it was the most like experimental in production mm-hmm. where we got to just like, like yeah. do weird, fun stuff and change different parts vocally. And is this the one? Isn't this one? Cool. Um, isn't this a longer one? Is it like five and a half minutes? Maybe six minutes? Uh, I'm mistaken. Like, I think this, this one's shorter. Like that might be Monster that you're thinking of. I might be thinking half. of Monster too. Mm-hmm. Which one? Monster five and a half. They both have a lot of crazy <laughs> vocal stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Which is cool though, because like I feel like, like I said earlier, like the soft focus kind of does too, right? That song, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, I feel like that, that was one, the first one where you guys right. were really doing a lot of vocal stuff, which I like. That one is the most stacked vocally. Yeah, it's cool though. It's cool yeah. though. Interesting. Any, you said Man on the Moon is the one you wrote in class, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, just back tra- I'm backtracking up, Arna. <laughs> Lost my thought there for a second. You got me down there? You good? Yeah, my yeah. guy down there. My guy. <laughs> All right, so you guys write this one and you do it live. When you say you do it live, you mean you did it to a click or you like recorded it live like you guys all playing it once? Um, To a click, okay. but all, I guess like we were used to just before this 
mostly doing like only each instrument at a time yeah. in the first album. But like me, Tommy, Jade, and Gid all got in a room and essentially like Jade and I were doing scratch track stuff mostly. Uh-huh. Although we might have kept some of your I think we might have organ. Kept the organ. Yeah. yeah. I love it. Um but Gid and Tommy got the parts and we just kinda like played it out as a band, which is also how we did Athens and a few other ones. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. And when you guys I think this one was a single or no? Yes. Yes, it was. What makes you guys pick the singles on this one? Do you guys have them all in advance this time and you pick the singles? Yes. Which is completely mm-hmm. opposite of the other one, right? It was like, all right, we yes. finished one. That's a single. You know what I mean, right? Mm-hmm. We had, or we have, a manager who was like, you guys can't put this out till the whole thing's done. The singles are picked out. Every single artwork piece is finished and up. That was really hard. That <laughs> was the hardest still part. Pushed back too. Yeah. yeah, we ended up not having all the art ready, but we were like, at least the music and most of the art is ready because we kept putting. I it like back. the art. How the art's like kind of like slightly altered on each one in a different way and color scheme. It's all right? Jade. They have the original that? paintings. Of she painted like on their walls yeah. at home. What? It's so sick. That's wicked. It's awesome. Yeah. Sell prints of that. That's cool. Yeah. That's very cool. Let's talk about it. Have you should do it. It's a great idea. A little posters at the shows or something would be awesome. Squares. Yeah, because it's a cool little vibey thing. And you guys' color scheme is really nice. I wanted to note that. Nice color Thank scheme. You. I don't know how you guys do it. Even on this record, it's nice. The picture inside of a picture is awesome. Like somebody picked that up in here the other day. He's like, damn, I never knew this. He's like, they're in there too. Twice. <laughs> yeah. I was like, word up. I mean, I knew that, but word up, man. Yeah. Um, that was fun album art to make. Those I, cool bet, ones. I bet. I yeah. bet. Um, tell me a little more, bit more about the artwork. You just, was there a plan like, all right, we're going to have a couple singles and we're going to alternate it each time. Or was it just like just doing your thing and you know, drew a couple? Um, I guess we kind of decided on the singles and that kind of inspired. Was it hard to pick the singles? Sorry to cut you off. It was. It was. I think we were yeah. pretty set on Monster being mm-hmm. the first one. Love Definitely. That. The Love other that. ones were a little harder to decide. It was like our inclination to do Athens as a single. Yeah. But then we were like, well, we want to save maybe our favorite or one of our favorites for the whole thing coming out. Fair enough. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Yeah. Interesting. So, All right. So back to the artwork. Sorry, I cut you yeah, off. Yeah. Um, it was, I guess I'd like made this painting um, a couple years ago that Jess really liked. Between and you. that was actually going to maybe be like the soft focus cover. But okay. We never finished it and we decided that like another idea would be better <laughs> so it's kind of inspired by that um and also um just the idea of like a room kind of telling a story without many i guess without people in it and like without being a, a self-portrait it's kind of a portrait of yourself in a way interesting um and yeah and we thought monster made sense being a bedroom because yeah monster there's some references in there yeah. yeah might be a nice fella down there yeah which i think is a hilarious <laughs> line by the way i was like that i, I never would have thought of that it sounds great very cool uh, um and yeah the color scheme i think we decided on yeah. it was kind of hard we went back and forth some oh yeah, yeah. and jade was like oil painting it all so she'd paint a oh, color God. scheme and oh, then we'd the be fuck? like maybe not this <laughs> Yeah. And I would feel Too so late, bad bro. if I'd ever be like, maybe not that color because she had to like <laughs> go over start layers. Over. <laughs> it was true. They did go through a couple different color color options and it was all yeah. oil painting. So I had to like like carefully Damn. rub it off and then like do 10 layers over it. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. What did you guys think about the single choices and everything? Were you guys like, Damn. That one should have been a single or no. Any comments down there? Mm, we we got to talk about it a little bit yeah? as a group. Yeah. They they felt you know, felt mutual. Yeah, I think there was a lot of deliberation like okay. about what there were ones that I feel like we all were like, yes, that's this, that's a single, and there Obviously. were some that were like, we had to debate over a little bit, and I think I think I I, I liked what they did in love the that. end. Yeah. Love it. Um, mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. So moving on, I guess the next track would be Allure, right? Let's talk about this one for a while. This one's kind of crazy, man. This is wild, right? Yeah, you know, it's a little different. Right? <laughs> I think it's cool though. It's this, catchy. Yeah, this one's like our oldest song. Your from oldest? The EP. It's like not the oldest one we've written, yeah. but it was maybe like the third song we'd written together or something like that and it was the second song that we ever tried to record so we were like recording it in the era of soft focus before we even recorded steady like after astronaut kids okay and um like we wrote this together in jade's bedroom and it was really (laughs) fun it was like one of my favorite writing experiences um Mm. and it was just crazy because we would go through all these different versions in production but we could Uh never get it right so cat had nine lives <laughs> it had so many lives and it, like we'd go oh this is too rock like let's try to make it more 
indie sounding and then we'd be like oh my gosh we've lost the rock we need to like <laughs> try it again and then Bring we'd the be like back. well oh we did this so long ago we need to re-record the whole thing because it's been forever and we yeah. could do it better now and it was crazy <laughs> well, i'm glad you guys got it done it's yeah. great i really like when it like pulls back for the first chorus i think or i don't mm -hmm. know if you call that yeah. a chorus yeah, yeah, but yeah. pulls back for a second i'm like Whew. Nice, nice. And the <laughs> lyrical opening is like, all right, what's she talking about? You know, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, hmm. <laughs> you know? Which is great. What did you guys Thank think? You. you said this is your favorite, right, kid? Yeah, it's my to favorite. Play. It's Yeah, it's uh, honestly a little different than the way that we played on the record. Like the mm -hmm. the breath that happens right at the beginning of that chorus. Like uh -huh. we just play it kind of straight through and it's like. Interesting. We're, we're ch I'm trying to hit my drums as hard as possible. Yeah. <laughs> and it, at the end, it kind of goes like. The riff kind of like the motif comes back around. We mm -hmm. jam it out a little bit and then it plays through again. And then we like kind of bring it up. Okay. And then I get to like go crazy. I don't know. It's just like my own personal, like when I see it on set list, it's like, yes. yes. Yeah. This could save <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. I love that. How about it's, you guys? It's what are usually you on the set list. It's usually yeah. on the set list. Yeah. For yeah. that reason. <laughs> well, yeah. It, it's also one of my favorites to play. Yeah. Yeah. It's very like the, the guitar heavy riff is yeah, fun. Justin we just get to Aaron play guitar. Playing. We play like yeah, a harmony so part or interesting. <laughs> or I guess this record octave. might be a hair more guitar driven. Am I wrong about that? Oh, totally. Yeah, yeah. I think so. It right? It is. Which was weird to realize as we were going through it because I feel like the last one was very piano driven. Mm -hmm. I think so for sure. Right. Mm -hmm. Most of those were starting with the piano, right? At some mm -hmm. point. And then I think there's a few on this one that start with just guitar. And there is there pianos on all of them? Um, not on all of them. I now, think. Say, um, I don't think there is. Is there? Yeah, I think like Monster and Man on the Moon don't have piano. Interesting. There's and I Like You Around has like tiny touches. Some. Tiny touches. Interesting. Okay. We were leaning on like synth more too, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like little organ options. and synth. Yeah. Yeah, it seems Not like there's some sort of, piano. I guess motif's the right word. I don't know who yeah. said that earlier, but there's like a little thing in every song, usually on the guitar, in my opinion, uh, that's really catchy. It's like, that's nice. You guys have really gotten very... Uh, I don't know if in intelligent, maybe that's the right word, intelligent on your like arrangement stuffs or well-versed, <laughs> you know, so congratulations. I really enjoyed it. I actually was talking with, um, saw Stu's at Georgia Theater, me and you guys, you guys have met them. You guys have played with them, right? We've, We've never played with never them. Never played never. with them? You guys should. That'd be awesome. I was talking I with, um, I've played with them. Gideon Hose. Okay. Goat. Gideon Hose. <laughs> <laughs> Dude's in 12 bands over there. <laughs> They're <laughs> so <laughs> nice. Though. We they are. Yeah, they are. Awesome. I was talking with the drummer, uh, Mr. Wyatt the other day and he was, when we were at the theater, he was like, He's like, man, they're really hitting on all strides now, aren't they? You listen to the new stuff? I was like, yeah. I was like, I agree. Like, this sounds very thought out and well done. Like, the vocal stuff that's going on and everything, and everything's hitting on all cylinders. So just congratulations. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. I don't know where Thank I was going you. with that. But <laughs> I like it is what I'm saying. Yeah. Got to give credit to Tommy Troutwine as yeah, well. Yeah, we got to talk about oh him. Yeah. How easy did he make it, this, this record? Pretty <laughs> so easy. easy yeah. Oh, my gosh. He's gotten... Like he was Man, incredible before, but he's yeah. just like a wizard now. Yeah, I was yeah. like the most pro, just like quick. You will never ever have. He edits like on the fly, Dude, like crazy. as you're yeah, talking, and he's like editing six <laughs> yeah. things. Drums are always yeah. like in sync. Him and I have a good relationship and like yeah. learning how to like work with each other and like our tones and sounds. Yeah, he's like, like comping like twelve yeah. drum tracks at yeah. once, and I'm like while we're talking with yeah. each other, yeah. he's yeah. like, yeah, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> All kind of shit's happening. I'm like, damn, yeah. nailed that. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out Tommy. I think he did a lot of cool stuff with the vocals this time too. And you guys agree? Totally. Like yeah. A lot of like pan and like radio stuff going on. I, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't want to nerd out about the production too hard, but you know, it was he cool. He got a tube mic. That's good. That we yeah. were a tube mic. Yeah. I yeah. always call I it like the sauce. I'm like Tommy, put the sauce on my voice. The <laughs> sauce. <laughs> knows exactly what it means. <laughs> I don't know what it is. You don't need to know what's in it. Tube it just tastes so good. Yeah. Yeah. Tube <laughs> Dude, the, the yum yum sauce. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys have a favorite part about making the record each was there any specific moments or anything that stands out to you guys individually about making the record or hmm. i say record but ep is it a mm -hmm. ep right it's, it's not an, an album right it's an ep <laughs> finishing it <laughs> <laughs> great answer the while. hardest part <laughs> Ooh, there were a lot i think it was moments. probably man on the moon that one day where we were just adding a bunch of stuff to it that was really fun. But also, we did a lot of gang vocals yeah. in this record. I, I was that. thinking yeah, the I gang like vocals. Which were just yeah. fun. We would like <laughs> just be us three. Like, yeah. Or even everyone has done like some yeah. gang vocals on it. It's just like mm -hmm. shouting in a room at the top of your lungs. <laughs> like, and layering it as Love if you're that. a big group of people. Yeah, it sounds and like Tommy it. will be like, all right, this next one we're all going to do British accents. And this next <laughs> one we're all going to do really low voices. The whisper. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> Love that. Anybody else have any favorite moments? Probably like 
live tracking Athens. We we yeah. weren't mean we weren't really in the studio that much, <laughs> uh-huh. but we got to play on Athens. Mm-hmm. So that was a day. That was fun. Oh yeah, <laughs> we had a show. No, no, because the, the previous night we had played with Br- the Brook and the Bluff. Oh, and then, right. we, then we got to Aaron's mom's house at four in the morning, and then drove. Shout back out to, to my Athens. mom. <laughs> Why do we always do that shit morning? Like that? <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah. started recording at like noon, and then got done at like five. And I mean, I I feel like. <laughs> I've never been more exhausted yet excited and also like, you know, it was like, wow, this is so amazing. I'm going to go sleep for a whole day. Yeah. Like, <laughs> rewarded. You know, yeah. Rewarding almost. But, right. But my, I think my favorite part of like that. Well, yeah, I, I agree. It was, it was yeah. recording that. No, that you track. seem like you're about to say something, man. Yeah. Weren't well, you about to run off there? Well, well, I was going to say like recording go that off. track was the most fun. And then like, I think tying back to like what, makes Tommy such a great person to work mm-hmm. with is that he he takes like what you do uh-huh. and he's like okay I'm gonna make it like I'm gonna keep the core of it but I'm gonna make it like you know I'm gonna make it a lot better yeah. and you're going to like feel like he just takes what you do and he makes it yeah. better but he keeps the soul of it almost um, unprovoked like yours. seamlessly yeah. he just does it yeah. naturally it's like not he's like not even trying to do it just yeah. does it that makes sense mm-hmm. so it's what's really you cool. two fellas great um, answer by the way brother uh, I think just getting to work with everybody uh-huh. officially, like for the first like session time, was cool to me because like I went from listening to the band to playing with them live, and they were like, "Come record with us." Love that. And it was a little like impromptu. I'm sure there was like some scheduling issues at some point. Yeah. <laughs> I don't probably. Know, like, probably <laughs> yeah. But um, I remember like just the whole time, both getting to work with Tommy and also just like. Hotel fiction, like this is like the recording. And I didn't I didn't record Athens and something else, maybe. I think instead of us. That instead was instead of us. Yeah, yeah. Justin yeah. was on instead. And there's there's a f- like another unreleased song that is Justin that's my favorite. But like I didn't I didn't get to record Athens. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um I didn't get to record Athens, but I did like that practice was very cool to me because we got to sit down with like a new song for four hours yeah at tommy's house and we just like we just played it and like argued with each other (laughs) and it was like a good like bonding moment like everybody got to like contribute their own ideas yeah it was like very purposeful love that yeah great answer great answer love that mr aaron did you already answer yes yeah i guess i I said athens and then oh lucas and i talked about it great answer good love that yeah, well, it seems like that kind of thing. Was this at Tommy's new house, or I assume yes. I call it the new house? Mm-hmm. But it seems like a very welcoming. Everybody can speak up environment, right? Did you guys oh, feel yeah. the same kind it's of like, right? You feel really comfortable. Yeah, very, very real. You know, the studio and the clocks on you sometimes, like a like a you know like ten ninety three or something. It feels a little weird sometimes. Yeah, oddly, that's you know? one thing we've always been really grateful for because yeah. we go back on things and explore different rabbit holes and mm-hmm. really like to take our time. Mm-hmm. Um, Which and is great. so it's so nice that we're not on yeah. a timer. Thanks, totally. Tommy. <laughs> Shout out, Tommy. You're the man. You're the man. Like, <laughs> especially like for vocals on this record, it was really nice just to kind of chill. Like I yeah. feel like mm-hmm. I was like sitting on the couch or just Love like that. closing my eyes and just like felt very relaxed. Yeah. Whereas you can like oversing some in a studio setting. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And if, it feels like the more time you have with it on vocals, like the, it can get better if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. You know, like you can listen back and be like, oh, that was kind of trash or that was awesome. You know, mm-hmm. sing it again. You know, it's kind of cool. I think of that for voice at least. That's great though. It's very cool that you guys like, I mean, literally made every song with him, right? Isn't that every, every song every you guys have song. done with Tommy? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No <laughs> plans of changing, right? You guys are already working no. on new stuff, right? Yeah. We're working on a new record. <laughs> Love that. Okay. That's awesome. You guys stay on it with the music, don't you? How many shows do you think you played last year? Oh, I gosh. counted. <laughs> you counted? <laughs> Wait, you, you would I know. Don't. <laughs> I think, I think, I think Love it's. It. I think it's like 67 or something <gasps> like that. Oh, that's so much. That's I, don't, I don't remember the exact number, but it was between 65 and 75. That's what I remember. <laughs> Gotta love nice. that. Gotta love that. That it is was, insane. Yeah. And do you guys a have a favorite place. destination you played? Or favorite tour spot you guys hit? Hmm. Gids Grandin down yeah, there. Oh, you got? Dude. What you got, Gids? I have so <laughs> many. Yeah. Damn like, it, man. We got time. Dude, uh, uh, so this was like weird. But yeah. I th- sometime in August of last year, we played at the High Dive in Gainesville. I've and heard of it. I hear it's nice. Yeah, yeah. I met I met some really cool people that night. That was October. But there was like, there was a bigger band, like a way bigger band playing than uh playing that night. 
and it was like kind of during COVID, I guess. And like they did not let me use any of their stuff drum wise. And like yeah. I had brought some stuff just in case, but like they were being really weird about it. TM <laughs> was being weird about it, whatever. And so I played that night on like a kick drum and I think a rack tom and like a hat and a ride and I was sitting on a bar stool <laughs> on the side of the stage. Yeah. Just in like anger and so like just so mad that I didn't get to play on these like nice DW yeah. drums, whatever. Like, you know, it's in the yeah. past, so I'm not really mad about it, but I'm a little <laughs> bitter about it. But that wound up being like one of the best shows that we played together. Like the energy was really up, yeah. and it was just out of just Pretty like sick. I I don't know. It was also a funny night because like I was fuming and everybody was like ma- like telling me to calm down. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't know. That same night, I also drove across town to find a bass amp. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a weird gig. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's, we yeah. gotta get on this email <laughs> chain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, <laughs> what do we do? But the, the night turned out wonderfully. Yeah, it was yeah. awesome. Um, very that's cool. awesome. That's very, oh, spe- very so special. Sometimes that tension movie. can make a, a special yeah. night. Yeah. You know, that's mm-hmm. great. How about you guys? You guys have any fa- favorite shows in particular? That's Kid's answer. Ooh, yeah, high yeah, dive. I'd love to know some some favorites, you know? I feel like this is the first year we played New York City, which was really sick. I feel like yeah. I remember seeing videos. Like, Mercury Did your Lounge. piano fall down on one of these? Uh, like, yeah. I was like, <laughs> sick. They were getting wild. Like Nirvana out yeah. here. It's crazy. <laughs> that, that was really fun. Um, and we toured with this band called Happy Landing. And I've heard of them. Oh, they're yeah. great. They joined us on stage, the and my they always wear an astronaut suit, right? <laughs> yeah, Isn't that they do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're sick. they're so awesome. You got to meet that. them at some. Aren't point. they an Atlas artist? Yeah, they are. Yeah, love it, love it. They but they weren't theater. when we met them. They, um, oh. yeah, they love that. Eventually, I'm sorry. What were you things. saying? They something happened with the p- piano? Oh, I think we were just like dancing too hard on stage or something. <laughs> Crazy of that. It was like on the last note too, or something. Yeah, that's the best time for it to happen. How about you, right here? We got answer from kid. You too, right? Is that your favorite? Was that your answer? We've got New York City down here. I mean, I love playing Gainesville. Like favorite show of the year. Um, New Year's was special. I was gonna say yeah, New Year's just like happened. felt like was, the most was that pure Peter? fun. Yep. Mm-hmm. It just felt the most like in that was the maybe moment. My favorite uh, show. Yeah, I think that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. uh, Everything kind of went perfectly, what? and we yeah, just had a blast. <laughs> the crowd was so nice. Oh, the set felt really good. Gotta love it. Just like no stress, just happy, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's good. Fucking great answer. That sounds exciting. I was excited when you guys told me. I was like, that's sick. That place <laughs> is huge, awesome. right? Big yeah. old place, right? Oh, yeah. How have you guys fallen into it? seems like you guys do a lot of opening, I assume, for bigger acts like Flip Turn and uh, I, mm-hmm. I can't think of any others off the top of my head, but like, um, how have you guys kind of fallen into that opening slot? Do you guys like it at this point in time? It's like no pressure kind of thing or is it like... I love it. Love it? Yeah, it's yeah. really nice. Yeah? Because, you know, we do, every now and then we'll do a little headline run like we did huh. one last January. And that was actually really, really fun. Mm-hmm. But, of course, if you're opening for someone, there's going to be more people, more new people to meet. Yeah. And, like, you probably love the band you're opening for. Yeah, hopefully. Um, And you get to go into bigger rooms. Love and that. It's just so much fun, but at the same time, headlining is also really fun because you yeah. get to kind of call a lot of shots about how the show goes and Definitely. how long our set is and yeah. what happens. Payment and whatnot. That's yes, those sorts right. of things. Those sorts of things. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but that's awesome, though. Alex. Is it been weird? Like, um, I guess like, well, that's cool that you guys like it. I've, I haven't really done too much of it. Like, you know, there's all the pressure when you're headlining. You know what I mean? Like weird right. pressure. You feel like, responsible. Yeah. For the like night. if we if we don't sell tickets. It's on us, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. kind of thing. So it's kind of nice that you don't even have to worry about it so to nice. an extent, right? You know, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like yeah. they want you to help out. So yeah, tickets, they definitely, but... <laughs> <laughs> they definitely got you there for a reason. But you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, so. like this tour coming up, we we're like super grateful to be on the road with Flip Turn, and we've honestly had some of our best shows ever. Yeah. Probably most of our favorite shows have been with Flip Turn. Love that. I um, mean, we love them, but like it's so cool they're selling out some of these giant venues, That's crazy, all over the country, yeah. and. We're probably helping a little bit, but I really think that they're carrying the weight there. (laughs) So it's just cool to get to like be like, congrats, guys. This is awesome. You did this and we're going to come along and do it with you. I bet that is exciting. How did you guys meet them? Was it sort of an agents put you guys together thing or you guys knew of them? Because... I just started listening to them, and their their catalog is very listenable. It's great. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. really enjoy. I told Kid that that I I literally just yeah. in the past months started digging in. They're great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of a crazy story. I think it, it was, was. Yeah, it was um during the pandemic. Um, it was right before the pandemic happened, okay. and. 
their like booking agent reached out to us to yeah. open for them at the Georgia Theater. Okay. And we were really, really looking forward to it, but it ended up getting canceled. Oh, no. We like freaked out. And it was like <laughs> COVID had just started, but we thought it was gonna be like a week. Yeah. <laughs> and so Class we were like, is oh off. My God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then they were playing this it was the first concert we had been to since COVID had happened, and they were playing an outdoor a show with Mount Joy and everyone was in cars at like a NASCAR sporting place. Um, And we like sent them a picture on Instagram and we're like, we we're sad we didn't get to play the show with you, but um, we're here and we're excited to see you guys. And they followed us. And Mm -hmm. then I guess they're like, agents or managers were also on their instagram and they were like who are these people like we should ask them on another show and that's how we got the gainesville show with gideon and all of us um and then yeah that's where we met our manager that night really well yeah and even before that too i guess like they had mentioned that we had hit them up on instagram and Uh so they mentioned it to like their agency and that's how luke found us our agent Mm -hmm. and like yeah and so he had hit us up not even for flip turn but for like some other artists okay and was like hey can do you guys want to just open for some of the artists we have on the roster and he i don't even know if he was like a full atlas agent yet he might have just been trying to like dip his toes in the water yeah and um and like from there we just kept working with him and that has been the reason that like everything has happened touring Love wise for us. He, he told me that night at flip turn fest he was like got me by the hand and was like dude i'm telling you right now if you just stick with me like i'm gonna make the coolest things happen really? like i He's promise right. you that like i will i and like i guess he wasn't even like official with you guys but he like mm-hmm. promised me was like i like if you just keep doing this band thing you don't go to school. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you just keep working and like doing the thing. Keep shopping. Keep yeah, shopping. yeah, yeah. And he was like, I will, like, I promise you, like, this will be worth it. And yeah. so far, it has been so worth it. And yeah. I'm so glad to like know them. Like, Love everybody that. on the Atlas crew, everybody in Hotel Fiction, like, that's awesome. I think they're, it's awesome. they're the whole roster is incredible. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like all the cool bands. It's like, what the fuck, man? How'd you get all these? You know? Atlas is like the coolest yeah. agency management company yeah. they're just like really really supportive and yeah. they're all best friends with each other and with us so it feels like it's like the charleston really vibe yeah it's very yeah. cool i actually messaged luke you said luke's you guys agent right not mm-hmm. the other one yeah um i, I want to get luke on the podcast because i feel like <laughs> oh man please he, he politely <laughs> declined oh, politely oh, declined. Dang. he said he'd rather have the artist in the yeah spotlight. they don't like being like, in the fair, spotlight fair, fair. At i was all. like respect <laughs> i was like respect respect dude but i was i was like that sounds like a good idea so maybe if i'm ever get like luke it. sam and carla all in the podcast. oh my gosh yeah. they would have so, so much fun i believe it well anyways let's loop back around atlas has been keeping you guys on the road which is awesome and seems like you guys play with a ton of cool bands which is really cool um what have you guys kind of like what are some goals been for you guys? I asked Gid this the other night when he came on, but like, what are some new things you guys have been trying to do this year? Like, what have you guys been talking about? Like, the brand is secure, if that makes sense. You guys had to look <laughs> down and everything, and like, the vibe is obviously there, and the songs are there. Uh, what have you guys been working on? You know, what's what's on the mind lately? What, what comes up in the band meetings? It's like, all right, we got to <laughs> fix this meetings. shit, you know? Yeah. Anything? Planning for February is a big band meeting mm-hmm. topic. <laughs> yeah. How so? Just the tour um, kind of thing? The tour, yeah. yeah. Where are we going to stay? What van are we going to How are we going to play these songs? <laughs> yeah. How are we going to change them? Uh-huh. And other than that, I mean, we've Almost been working on this intro. new album. <laughs> very yeah. beginning. Beginning, okay. stages. beginning stages. It's kind of been like a season of like writing and mm-hmm. trying to regroup. Yeah. Um, and... Yeah, work on new music in the studio and just kind of try to be the best version of the band we can be, I guess. Love that. Try Mm -hmm. to fine tune everything and just keep growing, hopefully. Yeah. What are some places that you guys feel like you've kind of seen some significant growth at? I kind of think of you guys in Florida for some reason. I don't know why. It's like a big thing down there. Uh, But like obviously coming out of Athens where you guys are from, have your biggest fan base. What are some towns that kind of surprise you guys when you go out there? Anywhere that's like... Oh shit, we got some fans down here that come out and see us. Any any markets, if that makes sense? I feel yeah. like DC was surprising. DC was, was yeah. yeah. Pearl Street, yeah. And where? New York. Yeah. New York. Yeah, Pearl yeah, Street. Yeah, Have New you York. played there? I, I watched the I YouTube not. video at Mercury recently. Yeah. And I was like, dang, there's a lot of people singing. 
Yeah. Huh? Somebody well, there, a lot of Athenians yeah, yeah. moved to New York, yeah. so they oh, kind of yeah, rallied. Right. Yeah. It's very, it does I'm, stem from Athens. DC. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, DC is a lot of Athens people, and so is New York. Charleston. Interesting. It's always surprising Gainesville. to us, though, and like yeah. when there's people that know us and we're like out <laughs> in Colorado, and someone's like, yeah. I love your music. It's just, it never really gets old or it feels normal. Yeah, I love that's it. true. What's been your favorite part of like, from show one to like now, like seeing the growth, I guess. I mean, each of you, I'd love to know. What's been your favorite part? Like a, maybe a moment where it's like, oh shit, we're really doing this thing, you know? Anything in particular? Maybe our like Georgia Theater show. Mm. I feel that was that was this year. That was really special. Mm-hmm. Was re- we put a lot of work into that one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sure could have made that. That's crazy. That's cool. That was a big one. I mean, even Atlanta New Year's, which we already talked about, yeah. but hearing like, people really know the songs was pretty crazy i bet but that's awesome mm-hmm. yeah. how about you fellas any any particular moments uh, where it's like oh shit we're killing her you know this is great <laughs> that's a big question I mean, yeah the, the the buckhead theater obviously was like yeah. crazy just to be a part of that but i want to go a little like more nuanced something in general that has like kind of opened my eyes it's uh-huh. like we're starting to all present ourselves in a more like professional way Ooh, we're starting to interesting. like we've got new gear everybody yeah. like christmas time santa thank you <laughs> my god <laughs> thing you did for us. Santa. that's my dog you know yeah he, he got some cool new keyboards and <laughs> drum and stuff and money you know yeah. just yeah exactly <laughs> um, but like what, we got cases now and we got what? the gaff tape with hotel fiction oh, tonight guys, hopefully like i'll you. bring yeah, it we, we <laughs> yeah i don't know it's just like we're starting like uh, we roll up to the gig and now now we're gonna have a new van also oh, so it's like we could van. possibly shout we could possibly roll up and like just <laughs> look like we're here for the right reason yeah. and like that just makes me happy is like and as i i like aesthetics and you know just like being able to yeah. to see that this like band we're here you love know? it the yeah. aesthetic is that's, not that's kind of yeah it's kind of got me psyched a little bit until you got the road cases with hotel fiction i know that. dude it's what so you guys sick doing? it's just yeah. like my own pride but for everybody <laughs> like we're all kind of stepping up like realizing like to like we can tour all we want but we have to like be ourselves and like yeah. like with some authority and like kicking down the door fair enough fair enough and i feel like we're starting to kind of like i'd like really concrete our identity you know okay and like i mean here you all are i mean yeah, yeah it's, exactly. it's a good step yeah. you know yeah it would have been like sometimes it's hard to get all five of us in a room but now mm-hmm. it's starting to feel a little bit more normal yeah. And like practicing we're, and hanging out and we're in a room yeah exactly oh, like a lot it's know? like a this <laughs> yeah. is this is the band <laughs> so i love that it seems like it because like it seems pretty democratic right here nobody's talking <laughs> more than anybody nobody's like ah, i don't agree with that you know, <laughs> so you guys seem yeah. like a whole thing now which is great i mean it makes it even more of a band vibe which is awesome mm-hmm. um you said about the van i want to back up to this you guys got the van crowdfunded in one day is that what in i heard one yeah. day what the it was fuck, so man? crazy maybe what? that was the moment where i was like <laughs> that holy shit yeah, like, we got some money. Money, right? like all right we can quit now <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like crazy. i don't know you feel supported a lot but you yeah. don't really realize it till you have to ask for help and then yeah. you're like whoa yeah. this is the real really deal like yeah. believe in us and, and for people help. that don't know you guys old van was it vanessa what do you guys call it <laughs> Maggie. 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 maybe the new Maggie one can be vanessa i like her. vanessa <laughs> vanessa it's something to think about um <laughs> <laughs> she broke down and you guys did rest a crowdfund in rest in peace yeah. Yeah. maggie may slash yeah. vanessa mm-hmm. and <laughs> crowdfunded in one day i bet that was crazy that was crazy. Was wild. Now you guys got to pick a van. I bet that's going to be hard. No pressure. Also hard. It's going to be a good <laughs> You'll leave so yet. many in the chat, man. Yeah, yeah. is yeah. there? The, yeah. the God, van like, chat right now is just like We Ford, might as Ford, well Ford. just like go ahead and make a top five because I think we yeah. have the top five mm-hmm. I think so. for right now. I, I like the haven't one. posted many like vans rest <laughs> yet, so I feel like... It's all for the color. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> the color. <laughs> I know. I know it's going to end up being like a white, boring ass van. You can paint it, though. Yeah, you guys need to put a fiction on the side. Paint it red. Mm-hmm. There we go. <laughs> we could. <laughs> nice reference there. Yeah. I caught that one. <laughs> I will paint it. If it's white, I will paint it. Well, what was I going to say about it? You guys better make sure you get a damn good one because I think you only get one <laughs> crowdfund. Yeah, I, I know. know. Yeah, it's like, damn, it. these guys are going through some vans. You <laughs> yeah. know? That's what we were saying. Like, yeah. We're like, you kind of get one shot at this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I think this is when we need, like, we need it. We yeah. need help, you know? So. Yeah. 
But I think also in the moment, um, like the Stews even offered mm-hmm. to rent us their van for the run. Like multiple bands were reaching yeah. out, offering to help, which was really cool. So we might even rent a van for this run if Love we can't yeah. find the right one. Yeah, I mean, don't rush into anything if you don't have mm-hmm. to. You know, that makes mm-hmm. sense. Well, that's awesome. I forgot where I was going to go with that. Um, I feel like I didn't finish the EP, did I? I didn't get through all those songs. Um, we didn't talk about I Like You Around, did I? Oh, uh-huh. I I'm don't think, back up a I little don't think bit. we did. No. I like this one. This was kind of like a bare bones, like OG fiction mm-hmm. song. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like early, like steady or something, maybe. I don't know yeah. if that's yeah, what You know what I mean? Totally. Right? But it's catchy, vibe. too. It's like, oh, nice. Thank you. What'd you guys, how'd this one come about? Um, Man, we also wrote this one a long time ago. In your bedroom, um, also. You guys are shelving <laughs> some tunes <laughs> now, just some this bangers. This was also in the era of, mm-hmm. um, like, I think back to Allure times, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember, like, starting it on acoustic and just, like, writing the riff, like, uh-huh. and mm-hmm. then I think the ending was, like, a different song that we kind of put together. Yeah. That's we do that true. a lot, like puzzle piece half songs mm-hmm. together. Mm-hmm. It's a fun little like challenge yeah, game. I bet. <laughs> like, have you ever thought about that song from three and a half years ago? <laughs> like, what if we added that tiny yeah. part? And we kind of wrote it just about like our friends and stuff and mm-hmm. wanting to keep keep relationships yeah. and not lose people kind interesting. of interesting. Nice. It's got the nice like uh like phrase thing that you could easily say and it'd be catchy. So that's pretty cool. Love that. Thank you. I had someone I want to ask right quick. What is you guys? I don't want to phrase this. What is you guys? What's the most rewarding part about being in hotel fiction? Oh, probably like hanging out with each other yeah. <laughs> and getting Great to play answer. shows yeah. together. I feel that's a good answer. It's the it's the the five minutes after we walk off stage and we all finally make it to the green room and we all get a chance to look at each other and be like, yo, that was awesome. That was sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's so fun. It's I cool bet. to like. We're all working towards this common goal, yeah. Yeah. driving around in this beat up van all over, <laughs> but we're all in it together. <laughs> Honestly, it's like the hangs when we're not at shows. The fact that yeah, I'm now in this band and like I can spend 2 a.m. with, you know, somebody in the band just like talking uh-huh. and it like feels, it always feels like there's this greater purpose for why we're there, no matter yes. who it is. Like, I just feel that way with all of them and like. Uh, yeah when we're not on tour sometimes that's the most like special moments is when we can just like hang out for a birthday or just a gathering like movie night like Band watching night. Lord of the, the Rings at <laughs> random <laughs> times come on that yeah. was so sick like, <laughs> it was so good he's got the be- he's so excited he's got the best <laughs> I love Lord of the Rings come on, come on. love it well oh, I feel like when it crosses awesome. over from that cause like uh, well I guess assume you guys all knew each other fairly well before all this or at least of each other Oh, uh, when it crosses over into like, oh, this is a homie and we're not just work buddies, you know, like, I feel like that's yeah. a good thing, right? I think yeah, we got very totally. lucky. Yeah. yeah. Cause this, Definitely. this could have easily not been this way. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. mean, very easily. I'd say like what? 98% and, and of bands don't, you know? Yeah. It's like something like that. Huge bum. We could have, we could have much more issues than we do. Yeah. You guys ever argue <laughs> about anything? <laughs> you guys ever, you guys ever get the in parking break? <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. oh no. Don't <laughs> even get <laughs> started. Has a funny little thing. habit. What's the habit? Well, we <laughs> <laughs> what a funny little habit. We never put the parking <laughs> brake on baby. Maggie, but the one time we did, and I didn't take it off. The three That's times. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Three? She'll drive for like miles on the highway yeah. with the parking brake on. And start on. smelling in there, like burning. <laughs> she's just like, oh, nope. she's really hard to drive today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Maggie's problems are coming to life. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> You're going to have to cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> Considering that we... Aaron did it once too, okay. Con- I did. almost pulled out of a parking spot about before five. I noticed. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's funny because we... Like you never smell anything. Interesting. So maybe the parking brake just never worked. Maybe it's just burnt to hell. Oh, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> and, and yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe it totally. never mattered at all. <laughs> it was really hard to tell because she's always driving a little funky. Yeah, and little so you don't anyway. really notice. Like she's she's got a lot of she doesn't want to start. Like you'll yeah. have to oh really like gosh. give her like a little bit elbow little grease elbow. to like, Dude, get the car running. Yeah. Yeah. I was in the Kroger parking lot today yeah. trying to like, <laughs> like we got her starter fixed just yeah. to sell her. And oh, that's so my alarm. Oh, you're good. That means I have to leave soon. No. Right? Oh, right, I'll wrap it up for you. What were you saying? <laughs> um, I was saying we had gotten our starter fixed and like uh-huh. picked her up from the shop today. Yeah. Still lots of work that 
we are not going to be able to do to her, <laughs> but she at least could get home. And in uh. the Kroger parking lot, I was like trying to to like put the key in and it yeah. took me like 10 minutes because it kept doing that Gosh. thing and i wanted to like punch a window it's like every <laughs> night at tour this would be so hard i just like picture like having to get away really quickly <laughs> and maggie and what? just like <laughs> you're like I running away from a murderer and you're I like would, fuck i can't get the yeah, key yeah, in would, like, <laughs> like 10 the, the last place i would go if i was trying to get away from someone would be that van <laughs> <laughs> I'd, I'd, like, like the van just reads death I'd take my chances <laughs> on you can hear yeah, it for like miles yeah. as yeah. it's leaving <laughs> You can't stealth oh, mode in Maggie. Oh, the, the, the period of time where we, like, I don't know what was going on with it, but it was so loud for that one Mississippi Oh, tour. the muffler uh, yeah. was not. Oh, no. Yeah. Is that when it broke sit, down? Sitting in the passenger mm-hmm. seat. No, that was in Minnesota. Anything. What? Like, like the Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Be like, the driver <laughs> would be that. next to you, and they'd yeah. be talking, and you'd look over, and they'd just be like, <laughs> it's just like, it's like Dominic yeah. Toretto in yeah. there. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> are you guys still like doing? It. I remember last time you came on, you guys hadn't even stayed in any hotels at that point. You guys were crashing on apartments wow. and stuff. Are you guys still doing? Still that? trying? We've hit a few yeah. hotels. Have, yeah, I think Save under where ten you can. in our whole yeah. under yeah. ten. That's under still 10. impressive. Yeah, you guys got a lot of friends. Yeah, we've Good been job. reaching yeah. through. Jess has a lot. Yeah, ninety percent. Jess has friends. A lot of friends. family. Lots of yeah. My parents make a lot of friends that they stay in contact with. Love that. Well, yeah. good for y'all. Hotels are expensive. Good for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, my mom is also in this Ava Brother fan group that you is told me this very supportive. Yeah, yeah. And like for this tour, it's all in college towns. So okay. it's way harder to find places to stay because it's mm. like everyone knows someone in Atlanta out of Georgia, yeah. but not everyone knows somebody in Athens, you know? Yeah, like, fair enough. So same thing throughout the country and- We've been we're staying with a lot of strangers from the Avid Nation. How do you Shout like out that? Avid Nation. Shout out to Avid Nation. <laughs> Avid Nation. It's been good. Met some nice people. I'm I don't sure know how we're have. gonna like it. Yeah. I guess we met Jason that way in Detroit. Yeah, um, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> it's been cool though. Everybody's yeah. always so oh, nice and supportive, that. and it's even cooler <laughs> when they're a stranger. Love oh. it. Love that. <laughs> you remember that? What we got down here? Do. The boys whispering. What we, what we got, fellas? Oh no. We're just nice. reminiscing. No, yeah, reminiscing. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll ride with the secret. I'll wonder. Yeah, you can you can listen back. <laughs> All right, well, let me get into closing notes so Jessica can go. Um, let's see, what did I want to note? That the vibe. Okay, this is something I wanted to say. The vibe of the record as a whole has like this spacey thing going on, right? A little bit. Like there's like a moon references in every other song, right? <laughs> um, am I mistaken? No, you <laughs> are on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> what was that look around? For? <laughs> I felt like I was like throughout the whole thing because I listened to it a few times to get ready for this. Um, spacey, moony, like, uh, I hate to say, not quirky, but like lyrics that make me go, <laughs> nice. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Stuff I like want to like sample that <laughs> nice. Yeah, we got it. I'll send you stems. I'll send you stems. You know what I mean? Like you guys oh, have the vibe sure. down almost. <laughs> if that makes sense. And there's no part of the record where I'm like, damn, Gideon's going a little too wild right there. Oh, <laughs> Jessica's like hitting a crazy lead right there for no reason or like, <laughs> Jade's like hitting like crazy vocal runs right there. Like everything seems super song serving as we mm-hmm. talked about yeah, the other totally. night, which is great. Controlled. What has been, has that been a goal? Like, has it been like, yes, the record mm-hmm. seemed easy to make or no? I think like that we, d- I think like you said, we grew yeah. a lot in arrangement and like thinking about why we're doing everything yeah. and where it fits. Um, mm-hmm. and thinking most about the song. Okay. Like, does this serve the song? Is it necessary? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Can it go? Mm hmm. Interesting. It sounds like that. Sounds great. Sounds great. Uh, I'm trying to think of some big hitter questions right here. I want to. I want to think. Ask some good ones before you go. Uh, I already asked what your favorite song to play is. What's your favorite thing you're looking forward to about 2023 for Hotel Fiction individually? I want to know. So you guys be thinking while they're working. <laughs> Unless we're starting down here. Gideon wants to go. Let's start it down here. Get, get it going. Summer. The summer. We got the summer. something, hopefully a tour or something maybe happening mm. sometime around the summer. I don't okay. know, something mm-hmm. like that. A little sunshine. But like, work? yeah, a little sunshine when she's okay. gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, okay. <laughs> or ain't no sun. I Mr. Don't. Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Aaron, any Honestly, any just, I mean, like, it's right here, but February, like, yeah. next month. That's a hell of a run. It's the first time we've ever done something like this, and I think, yeah. you know, it's going to be a huge, whatever it is, it's going to be something Love very, that. very different, so. I'm very excited about George Theater Day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't even know what to expect. It's been hard to look past that, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's good. It yeah. has been. Yeah, I so believe that. Like we're just like putting what? everything we have. <laughs> I think that's what's like to your question earlier about like what's the what makes me stop and go like, oh, you know, this is uh-huh. something cool. It's just like 
how much energy and thought and time we're putting into preparing for this month of touring. Yeah. It's like, it's such exciting. It's never, I've never done anything like it before. So we've definitely it's came really a cool. long way from the, uh, Alabama weekend tours. You guys remember <laughs> oh, those? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. All right. Right here. Yeah. I definitely. Like, I mean, yeah, go ahead. Flip turn <laughs> tour will be, will be Nuts. pretty, pretty wild and fun and also a challenge and, and just being like, never been on a month tour, you know, it's sort of this like thing where we're all just going to have to work together and like, yeah. it's going to be sick, but it's, you know, it's month long and like, Let's that's going to be like good and crazy and all the things. So I'm yeah. excited just to like take that on as a, as a challenge. So love it. Yeah. I think at the beginning of every year, I'm just excited to like have the infinite possibilities of the whole year coming. Uh, so like mm -hmm. I'm excited for the fall and whatever comes up and yeah. maybe releasing our new album and Ooh. maybe we'll be going on another tour in the fall opening for a band that we don't know about yet, you know? Yeah. Who knows? Um, uh, Rolling Stones. But <laughs> <laughs> Pearl Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anybody. <laughs> so yeah. Great answer. I'm excited to look back this time next year and be like, whoa, all that stuff happened in the last year. Love that we that. couldn't expect great answer Ms. yeah Jade? i'm just excited i guess to be back on the road again and yeah. to like meet people mm -hmm. um that have been like dming us about the shows yeah. so that's gonna be fun and then also just to play athens again I'm love really it oh, it's yeah. coming up soon yeah. coming up soon well thank y'all so much my final question for the night individually is who's your favorite band in athens right now starting down there i'm gonna change my answer from last time oh, yes. i think <laughs> possibly um Go to me last. I don't know. <laughs> We're switching it up. Oh gosh. Favorite band in Athens. Um oh why did you have to do that? <laughs> <laughs> we can start in the middle. Um oh, we can start gosh. next to the middle. No, no, no. I feel like I know. <laughs> like, you know I'm, she's, she's ready, she's ready to okay. go. <laughs> like I remember what I said. It's hard to pick a favorite, obviously, okay. and I have different favorites at for the different moment. reasons. At the moment. But like well kept the inquirer <laughs> is probably my favorite Athens record of the year. Love so, it. So vinyl out I now. I listen to it all the time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's great. Well, great answer. Gotta love that. Love Tommy. He's the best. The best. Um, I'm not letting you guys I, go. I will, I, will, I will partially piggyback off of the Inquirer because I've listened to the album a ton, yeah. but also uh, the new Everyday Dogs album. I like that one. Thought it was very um, well produced. Music. Yeah, love so, those guys. Love those guys. I think. I gotta say, Canary Affair. Ooh, Ooh good one, good one, okay. good one. That was nice. They, that, they, that, that got some good reception Sick. on the talk, by the way. Remember the clip we posted of that? People yes. were like, Canary Affair, yes. lead answer. I was yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> word up. Right yeah. on. You? Uh, Hefner, great, oh. love yeah. it. Gotta stick with it, man. What time. a great record too. Loved yeah. it. Yeah. Last but not least, um, I really like Elijah Johnston. Oh, oh solid yeah. guy. Come on. <laughs> Gideon's on all this. <laughs> I, got, I got one more. One more, hit me. Uh, Clark Sounds. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Athens, <laughs> Atlanta. Ah. Athens, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah, Somewhere yeah. in that like area. Portion, Love yeah. it. Well, thank you guys so much for coming on. I really enjoyed this. We're going to let you guys go. Uh, let's give a wave to the camera for the thumbnail. Everybody lean in. Get in. You lean in so you're in oh, this guy. Sorry. Big smiles. Yee. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> it's been a blast. Y'all look them up at Hotel Fiction. Hotel Fiction on Spotify. All that good stuff. Subscribe. Um, the van is funded. I was going to say fund that, but come see him on tour. <laughs> still funded funded if you want. <laughs> still yeah, funded. Still 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 funded. <laughs> Georgia Theater, we'll February 24th. 24th. 24th with Flip Turn. I'll put the ticket link in the bio. All that good shit. Thank y'all for watching along. Uh, follow the new podcast, Instagram, jameson.otr. We love you. Bye. <laughs>